It's day number two of our fork in the road chili challenge and our crew remained in Terre Haute for this taste test. Uh huh. They kept the fork down for this one <laughs> and grabbed a spoon. Chili day. Day two lands us at the doorstep of the Crossroads Cafe. Boo Lloyd has owned Crossroads for 25 years now, and she's not surprised by the nomination for the best chili in the Wabash Valley. Heck no, we sell so much chili. We sell it every day, even in the hot, hot, hot times of summer, we sell chili and we serve chili. So what's the secret? Well, Boo says they use fresh ground chuck and... A lot of special ingredients that I just cannot tell you, Mike. I'm going to darken a light kidney there. Equally good. Our chili is, best of all, seriously meaty, and we have lots of beans in our chili. Um, not super, super spicy. Uh, some people will shake a dash or two of uh, Tabasco in the chili, but other than that, it's just good and meaty. It's safe to say Joyce Majeski loves the chili here. If Boo's Chili had a name, it could be wonderful in a bowl. But what makes it so wonderful? Because it's good, it's homemade, it's not a where's the beef scenario at all. There's lots of beef in there. If I had a dollar for every time I have said this chili is so good, I could buy lots more boost chili. Or just show up with a camera crew like we did. In Terre Haute, Mike Latta, News 10. Only one more stop remains on the chili tour tomorrow. Same time, same place. We'll find out where they die. That's right. Then it's up to the judges to decide the champ. Only one can win a one of a kind plaque and bragging Gotta rights. Gotta love those bragging rights. <laughs> and folks, for extended interviews and lots of pictures from Fork in the Road, be sure to check out our website. You know the address, WTHITV.com. Yeah.